Hey, everybody. Sucky Fat Sex Mess. It's been a long time since I actually had made a video. A lot has happened over the course of time. So I just want to go ahead and start on something that is really a troublesome thing. It's not just only in the Nwapia Nation, but it's in an every single division, whether you want to call it religion or not. What I want to talk about real quick and men and women can detest for this as well. This is going to be entitled Phony Fake Ass People. You gotta be very aware of that. And to be honest with you, you should really know that a lot of them could be in your own small inner circle, your own private life, and you gotta be really, really wary and really see who they really are. If they got your best interest at heart. And I'll tell you what happened to me recently. So I'm getting back into my own natural thing of I love belly dancing. I know that it is a fantastic exercise, but at the same time, it is something that originated from, you know, Northern Africa that's always back in Egypt, and then 10,000 years later, it's in the Middle East. So it comes in different, you know, different forms, different backgrounds, and now it's also in the United States, too, which is perfect, which is okay. And I don't bash anybody. I don't flatter anybody. So as I am actually belly dancing for a group of sisters, first time around was alright. I enjoyed myself and a lot of people wanted to go ahead and learn from that. Second time around, there's a brand new people that's coming in and this is the problem. Now, I'm actually have a small circle of people that's in my own immediate life that I actually consider as, you know, really close sisters. Until I end up finding out that, you know, one of the sisters that I'm supposed to be, you know, in my own circle, close friends and get to know and stuff like that over the years that I've known her. It, it turned out that, you know, she's also in a little clique or whatnot, quote unquote, and then and I find out that she snickers and she was giving out looks like, really? Are you serious? As I'm belly dancing. Now, they claim that they are aware, so they know they grew up with it. Obviously, they did not. Because if you did, they will continue to practice and at the same time that they really was more in tune with their own bodies and their own spirits and their own, you know, souls and themselves, love themselves, not being insecure about, oh my goodness, well, this other person got more than me and she looked this way and she looked that way. Love who you are for what the Nathado gave you, what God gave you, okay? Don't look at anybody else, look at yourself and love who you are and love the body that you're in. So as I'm fully dancing and I'm enjoying myself and I love it, but I actually, you know, not only that, you know, it's always going through a trying time because in my personal life I am going through something that is, you know, it's getting better and my body is healing fine. It, it just turns out you actually have a lot of those that, you know, way out of shape. When I'm talking about out of shape, they're like morbidly obese. And then they looking at me like the only thing I have to worry about is just the stomach, you know, because you know, you know, you study or you're up with the children and they try to crazy, and you want to go ahead and just grab yours with like like a, a midnight snack or whatnot, and that's not gonna lie. So I know I have to stop that. And the bottom line is that as I'm actually, can, you know, supposed to enjoy myself and I'm expressing myself and I am sharing something that is a talent that I actually been working on for a long time and yeah I took some time off and I'm getting back into it you're going to have those that they just look at you like you crazy and you know they come into your face like I really love you belly dance and stuff like that but you go behind my back and you start slandering me that's something that I can know now so this is how I deal with things the moment that you start slandering someone whether I know them or not you start slandering someone to me, you are leaving a bad taste in my mouth about you. It has nothing to do with the other person. I am a type of woman that I have to see your actions and I will see whether or not is it up to par, is it backing up the words that you say, or are you just full of hot shit. And sad to say, even though I have been in the doctor for four years, excuse me, I'm just you know, going through sinus and stuff like that. 
I've been in the doctorate for four years. I've known about it for 11. That's it. And to have the privilege of actually being with people that actually grew up in their entire life with this and they see the ins and outs and they give me a heads up and I see it and I make my own determination, I make my own conclusion. Let me tell you something about the Nwapia Nation. Great nation. I will not leave it. However, just same thing with any type of religion. Christianity, Muslim, Islamism, doesn't matter. You're always going to have those that are so insecure about themselves. They don't have nothing else but to do but to just breathe in negative energy, negative hate towards you, behind your back. And we're supposed to be a community of black sisters that are supposed to uplift one another. They're supposed to love one another and, you know, be there for one another. It's not so. When you get to know who you're really dealing with, and the only thing was I do love about this is that you do got a few that you can count on one hand. They'd be like, look, I got your back. And my sister that I know had my back, and she talked. She opened her mouth and she voiced her concerns like, I don't like that. Here we are supposed to change and uplift and support one another, whatever that we do, but yet you want to go back and slander. Then you want to go back and snicker. Then you want to go ahead and laugh and stuff like that. And you claim that you know about belly dancing, but they don't take the time to actually study and to know that whatever things that you learn about belly dancing in any different form, whether it's American folklore, whether it's Egyptian or modern Egyptian, Persian, anything, cabaret, doesn't matter. You have to know that there are belly dancers that you have to come up with the dances yourself. So basically they are choreographed. And then there's also those that you also have to improvise. So that's how belly dance works. And yes, this is all for, you know, they all have this as far as this is going to be, you know, I will actually say that it is supposed to be a sacred, you know, very, very sacred type of dance that you only do with your partner, as, you know, in your own private home or whatnot. When you're around sisters and stuff like that, you're supposed to share. And at the same time, you know, belly dancing is going to be performed whether men or women look at it. And you're supposed to actually, you know, embrace one another. But guess what? You got a bunch of a-holes. You got a bunch of, you know, insecure, stupid-ass people in the nation. Seriously. And, and, and it's unfortunate. But that's not going to stop me from, you know, doing what I do. So, and at the same time, when it comes to the guy, you know, you say you're rah rah rah, you're all for your religion, but you you can't you can't even provide the basics for your family. You'll run up and you know you're so eager to go ahead and spit out the doctrine, whether it's Christianity, whether it's Islamic, whether it's going to be the Wapic. Yeah, but you're struggling to pay your own bills. You're struggling to take care of your family, and uh, the thing is, you have a lot. You, this, there's a lot of pride going on, and at the same time. My advice is this, when you're dealing with people who have too much goddamn pride, you should leave them alone, until so they can, you know, get themselves together, you know, and sad to say, you got people that just don't have the time or the patience, and they won't even deal with you, like, look, I gave you a set amount of time, and this set amount of time, you still mess up, you can't get to it, they just leave you alone, and they will not come back and see your life. And you actually are sabotaging yourself from actually getting a blessing from the disciples to actually, you know, be a part of someone else's life. So learn from them and they learn from you to help one another. You're supposed to have a brotherhood. You're supposed to have a sisterhood. And the thing is, is that it is best to live the life of Wunwa without actually talking about it. And for the past four years, I'm telling you with my own eyes that I see. Okay? I'm not talking about, you know, before the land was taken away from us. I'm talking about now. From I'm talking about from, you know, 2011 up to now. Okay? Like, we'll rah, 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 and, you know, have rallies and stuff like that. And 
you know, yes, we'll go ahead and have a tribal picture, but it's too much infighting. And a lot of us, it's just right here, right here where we are right now in the South. Too much infighting. And a lot of us actually go to, like, you know what, I had enough. And they leave. They'll still be in the nation. They'll still be in the Wapians, I guess, what they're, they're going to uh, the Caribbean islands or they'll go back to in, um, London, England. They'll go to different states because this particular state here where I'm at is they do not, you know, pop too much politics and too much infighting and too much pride. It's just ripping us apart. And at the same time, you're dealing with people that of actually, you know, you're, you're supposed to have some good friends, whether any, you know, any walk of life, whether it's going to be Christian, whether it's going to be, whether a whether person that's not going to be in any type of organization, they could be an atheist or anyone, a Mormon, you know, doesn't matter. You're going to meet some decent people from all walks of life. Now, if you feel strongly about what you believe in, you feel strongly about the way how you live your life, then by all means, you stand your ground. I don't kiss anyone else's ass. I don't condone anyone trying to kiss my ass, and I'm not doing it to them either. But just be very, very aware that just among in your own personal circle of who you keep close, even if you only deal with only just two people in your life, and they cannot be honest with you and be real with you, and you cannot accept that, it's best to part ways. You're supposed to look out for one another, women especially. Look out for one another, but it's like you mostly look out to pull down each other because you are not succeeding in the way that you want to succeed. You don't feel comfortable in your own skin, you know, and at the same time you start slandering each other. And instead of being really honest, like, sister, make with this. You're a sweet person. I love you. You have a beautiful energy, but I just... There's just some things that I just can't click with you, and it's not you, it's just the way that's how I am. And so with all due respect, I would say that it would be best if we just only deal with, each other, deal with each other if we see each other in a public place, like at our temple, at our church. But to get to know one another personally, please stop trying, because I, I really don't want to do that, you know. If we could be honest like that and talk to each other that honestly, except for the guys, you know, like listen. You know, all true respect, it's not going to work with me and you getting to know one another. I mean, let's just keep a cordial and stuff like that. But don't go behind the person's back and start slandering the person that you don't even know. You don't know what they go through every day. You don't know if they're dying and then they drop dead and then like, oh my God, I, I wish I actually had been a little more nicer. And stuff like that. You don't know the timing that you have on this, you know, on this Taha Earth. You don't know how much you have. So instead of wasting your time, you know, flattering people, if you don't have nothing nice to say, shut up and move on. That is it. Be real honest or be respectful about it. Be upfront about it. Be very aware that that's just if, that's how people are. And if you have that within your own circle, even if it's on your own family, don't deal with them. Okay? It doesn't matter at what particular stage in life you are in. You know, you want to push yourself to get better, to be better. And don't ever knock anybody down. Don't knock people down that is actually, you know, working and building themselves up. And at the same time, building everyone else up. Show love and support and show tolerance. Okay? And unfortunately, I had to go ahead and start blocking and deleting a lot of people. Not just on the phone, from the social media, but also in my personal life. I don't have time for that. You know? And as I get older, I learn that the less people that I deal with in my personal life, the better I have in my own life. Like, I got more energy, and I am happier, and it's more peace. Because as you get older, you don't want to deal with a whole bunch of nonsense. But at the same time, let's just be real. You know, let's just be really honest that you're going to have one or two a-holes in your own personal circle that 
you know, it's like, I'm going to get my life together. I got to go ahead and get this together. And you work towards that. And they see the progress, but yet they still want to show your ass off. Like, they want to show their ass to you. And then the moment that you're like, you know what, it's okay. You don't talk to them. You don't deal with them. That's when they start coming back to you. They're like, how you doing, brother? How you doing, sister? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Mm -hmm. And you move on. Let them feel that sting because guess what? It's 2014. Too much shit has still going on. You got your life to get together. And at the same time, you want to actually be in a scale where you got people around you that's helping you, building you up. You're building you up and you building them up too. So, you know, work with those type of people. Whatever it is that you do, you know, do it. And don't let anybody stop you because ain't nobody going to stop me from belly dancing. And one thing about belly dancing I love is the fact that there are sisters in all shapes and sizes, whether they got belly out, not too far out, because I look like I am actually carrying a baby for four months, and I'm like, oh my goodness. My youngest is actually for two months now. My oldest is, is what, seven now? And I'm like, I got four children. I'm like, okay, stop for me to cut the midnight snacks off, and I'll go ahead and increase my exercise regimen. But... I don't like it when we talk bad about each other behind our backs, but then again, we smile in each other's faces. If only I shit. Okay? And, out of respect, yeah, I'd rather tell you in your face. Like, you know what? I hear what you're saying, but I know it's just full of hot air. And, I just. Out of respect, I think it'd be best if we just become cordial once in a while. We'll speak like, "Hi, how you doing?" If you choose, you know, if you choose to do that, or it'd be best if you just go your way and I go mine. That's it. You know, that's it. There's no reason why you should be talking to me and bringing me down. And I don't like it when people slide to other people too, because they could be going through something. You may have something to offer them, or there's advice, you know, a help at hand. Or then you're going to come to me and you start talking some junk in my ears about this person? Like, obviously this person has changed. Obviously this person wants to get better. And they're putting their efforts in. I see that. But you're still holding on to the past. Guys, women, let it go. And if you can't let it go, then it's time for you to move on. Okay? Be real with yourself and be real with the people that's around you. And if you see someone that is there, you want to snigger or whatnot, first of all, take a look at yourself. Look at yourself. Because trust me, <laughs> you got too many goddamn flaws to be pointing in nine figures at somebody else when you can't even get yourself together. So I always encourage to, you know, Deal with people that is on your level or working to get away from that level to get higher. And it's also humble. Deal with those type of people that's going to be honest with you. And the real sisters and brothers that tell you the real truth, whether it stings or not. It's harsh? Ooh, that was me. But she's right. Like, I really need to get this together. Or he's right. Like, I need to go ahead and be the man to provide for my own family. Don't rah, rah, rah to someone else's face about how your life is supposed to be, you know, because this is the path, but yet you're struggling to live in that path. You can't even get the fundamentals together. Clean your bills. Put food on the table. You know, keep a shelter over your head. But yet you want to go ahead and tell them, oh, you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong, you know, you're following the law of doctrine, whether it's Christianity, or whether it's going to be Judaism, or what's going to be Mohammedism, or what's going to be Nawapic. Stop. Doesn't matter what you call yourself, if you can't support yourself, much less support anyone else, you need to shut up and get away from people. Period. This is a time where things are happening. And you need to get it done. So, I will talk to you all soon, later. And I'll keep it real with you. What's up?